It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Um, this next one, Brian, is a really interesting one that I don't think we've covered a ton, but I think this will be kind of valuable for us to go over. Um, this is from General Aviation Guru. Um, what does a retirement stress test consist of? What should we expect to be asked or ask of a fiduciary in verifying our plans, uh, our plans and their strategies suitability? Well, this is a really interesting question, and it's really hard to answer in a specific level. But I tell you, one of the things that we do as financial advisors for our clients is we ask really good questions. So a client will come to us and say, hey, I want to retire at 65. Can I do it? And we're like, that's a great goal. We love that. That's awesome. Talk to us a little bit about what that means to you. Like, what does retire mean? Does that mean, like, I'm going to go do projects around the house? Does that mean I want to travel to a different country every month? How much do I want to spend? How much time do I want to spend with grandchildren? How much do I want to help family? What are my charitable inclinations? Uh, you can do sort of this dream list. Well, then we ask you about the other stuff. Okay, great. How you, you know, what about healthcare? What's that, what are those costs going to look like? What part of the country do you live in? What's the cost of living in that part of the country? How expensive is medical care in that part of the country? Because a really, really good plan is stress tested across all the different variables that might apply to your situation. So we might have a client say to us, hey, I, I think that I want to retire and then I'm going to sell my house. I'm going to move to Florida and live on the beach. Okay, that's great. There are some tax implications associated with that. There are some capital transactions we need to model out. So if we can build out a very specific understanding of what your unique retirement will look like and kind of cast vision into the next 20, 30, 40 years, we can then run that vision through a stress test to see how many iterations of that vision make it to the end of the plan without running out of money. Bo, my answer is a little more on the uh, the kind of behavioral or emotional Love side it. of this and the fact that trying to, to make sure, I think a lot of people who are financial mutants, and this is why the do-it-yourselfers do mature and the abundance cycle kicks in, is because when you're successful, I think several things happen. First of all, you recognize, holy cow, I'm the CEO of a seven-figure mm -hmm. operation here, and I just don't know what I don't know. I don't know what my blind spots are. And then you realize also, hey, this is my first time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am out here flying this thing all by myself. I've never been here, never done that. And, and you're like, whoa, what, 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 what's going on here? So that's what... Always, and, and I got to tell you, as a financial advisor who's been doing this now for decades, downturns, because we're in the middle of a downturn mm -hmm. right now, and it's very close to it becoming a bear market, the weight that a good advisor feels. Heavy. It's heavy. And it's because we recognize that the decision of telling somebody you can now retire is one that you can't say lightly. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I've had the... I've had to unfortunately tell people, "Hey, go work. Th you got to work three more years." Meaning they got bad advice from yeah. someone well, else. Well, I've, I've I've had somebody come in where the prospect meeting is they want to retire in three months, and then I do the the assessment. I'm like, "Nope, you've got to give me three more years." I've done those meetings. I've also done the meetings where you're you're celebrating, and be like, "You're there. You're now working because you want to, mm -hmm. not because you have to." Congratulations, you've crossed mm -hmm. that threshold. But also, general aviation had a, a question of. How does it matter from a fiduciary standpoint? We realize when as soon as you throw that word fiduciary, that means that legally you're supposed to put your client's interest ahead of even your own economic interest, meaning the advisor's economic interest. And there's a legal standard there that, that can be sued. Yep. You, there's lots of obligations. So not only is there an emotional weight, there's also a legal weight that you better make sure you're doing a good job. So what we try to do when we stress test is, I mean, we're straight up trying to break it. That's right. I mean, our biggest thing is using the tools we have to try to see how, what could come, what could blow up your retirement. So we create that plan. Remember when I say any big life decision, whether it's retirement, whether it's an entrepreneurial type thing, I say come up with three plans. Let's, let's come up with what we think is going to happen. Let's talk about, oh my goodness, I'm going to be rich. Everything I've ever wanted is going to come true. And then let's talk about what happens in the worst case scenario and that's what we're supposed to do with a stress test is we're supposed to help you navigate what does it look like when it's really bad mm -hmm. so you don't make any 
bad decisions or you don't go into a decision too optimistic, not realizing, hey, maybe you're not ready for prime time yet. That's why, and and I always say it, I mean, it, it just it does it itself. You can be a do-it-yourselfer, but mm-hmm. I know with success, complexity will show mm-hmm. up on the scene and that's why you're you're going to look for somebody. That's why when people say, "Hey, just go buy the the Vanguard Total Market Index, go buy a VTI, mm-hmm. and you'll be set. You don't need a financial advisor." I'm like, "That's not a financial advisor. Mm-hmm. That's an investment advisor, which we, we help clients with sure. that stuff too." But you're at some point going to know, "Can I retire? How's my estate plan look? What is my risk exposure? You know, education plan." complexity happens and we'll be there and right there the abundant cycle will be fulfilled. And I think sometimes it's nice to have a third party that, that's that's willing to maybe say this stuff to you that you're not willing to say to yourself. We see this a lot. A couple will come in and maybe the household is a high earning household. They make $250,000 a year and we talk to them about retirement. We're like, how much do you need to retire? Oh, I don't know, 3000 4000 a month. And we're like, really? At that in okay, let's talk about that. And we start walking through the things they spend money on and how they spend money. And we have to like coach them to know you got to practice retirement. You got to figure out what you're actually spending because the data that comes out of a good stress test is only as good as the data that goes in. Well, some of the difficulty around the data that goes in is making sure we have realistic expectations about what is true in your situation. So a good financial advisor should be able to pull that out of you, should be able to have that conversation with you to get you to a realization of what retirement is actually going to look like. 